people that's life is comfortable, yeah. it's easy, they're not challenged, like like that is what you don't want to be. It makes me sick, obviously. Yeah. Well, but, and so for us, it's trying to be the opposite and to take that to the extreme and to realize that like, if I want to become the best version of myself, that a challenge is required, discomfort is required, pain is required, all of these things are just a prerequisite for getting to where ultimately you want to be. One, one thing, I, I did a podcast with a guy who's got a company called Ever Forward. And at the end of the podcast, I asked him, you know, what, what is ever for? What does that mean for you? And he said, you know, the more you stay ready, the less you need to get ready. I was like, huh, I like that. And, and I've listened um, recently to some stuff by Erwin McManus. He's got a, a podcast called Battle Ready. And that's what it's all about. It's, it's about the fact that when challenges arise, you don't have to get ready to combat them you, when you're in a, in a state of readiness. Like when you're understanding that things are going to happen, obstacles are gonna pop up every single day, so you're constantly trying to become the best version of yourself and grow yourself and, and learn new things and you know, put different tools in your toolkit to when something arises this time that's a little different, you're ready to accomplish those things or ready to overcome those things. I don't know about you, but I know a lot of people that are, that are showing up right now in this stage of getting ready. Everyone's getting ready to, I'm about to get ready to, I'm getting ready to, it, I'm getting ready to we'll get serious. I'm, fixing yeah, fixing to, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I'm about to, it's, it, that, that's, that is a uh, cancer, uh, I would say, uh, in this country as, as a majority of people that are getting ready to do something. Uh, but to be able to show up in the world in a state of readiness uh, is awesome. And just like you said, in every area, like you're, you are always ready to be able to do what you need to do for whoever. There's not a day that goes by where I don't say this one phrase, which is if you seek discomfort, and I've said this on this, on this series before, if you seek discomfort, the world will deliver you pleasure. Yeah. If you seek comfort, the world will deliver you pain. And it's just a fact. And so over the last five years, my business partners and I, we've, we've just been in this pursuit of seeking different ways to make ourselves uncomfortable but constantly searching for ways to get us out of our comfort zone. And to me, to answer your question, uh, Tim, the one thing that I, that I, seem, that I see as, as the most congruent, I think, outcome of those things is mental toughness. Yeah. If you seek discomfort, the world will deliver you pleasure. And I'll change that in the realms of what we're talking about. If you seek discomfort, you will be rewarded. And I know that this is going to be uncomfortable. I know that there's going to be an insane amount of discomfort with waking up earlier, going to bed even later, and fitting all this stuff in. But I know that I will be rewarded by doing so. And it may not be rewarded financially. It may not be rewarded in how I look or feel. It may just be re rewarded in realizing the capacity that I am able to unlock. And if you just think to yourself, what's something that would make me uncomfortable but that would actually move me forward by doing it. And you know exactly what it is. Like you can, you can, you can list those a mile long, but I think it's so important what Tim said to find someone that can pursue these things with you, to find someone that can do these challenges with you. Because the reality is it's very difficult to do life alone. Uh, that's the reason why this modern man platform exists. And that accountability is going to be key in order to, actually stick to these things that you say you're going to do.